I want to start after your last fight. You did an interview and you said it was a weird moment in your career. A couple months later, just where are you at? How are you feeling after everything? Uh, I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. You know, I'm trying to push things forward. You know, <laughs> to to keep moving forward, and uh, uh, I cannot do anything to change the, the things in the past. You know, but I can do a lot to change the things for for my, for my future. So yeah, it wasn't it wasn't the the the, the the last results of my fights weren't very good, you know, for me, actually weren't bad, very bad, actually, you know, so now I, I, I'm trying to, to make a difference, you know, to get a W on, on Saturday and, and move forward on my career. Your last few fights, let's be honest, you fought tough guys that a lot of people, you know, don't get many victories over as it is. So I think a lot of people see that. But when you're in there, you go back to training. Do you feel like there's a lot of things you need to change? Do you feel like it's more mental? What do you go back to work on when you've already been had such a great and long career already to learn? Uh, it's hard to say, man. We try to understand the things sometimes, you know, uh, guessing that there is something wrong over there because the result wasn't the, the expected. But uh, man, I feel great. I was I was great on my last fight. I was feeling great on my last fights, you know. And I, if you if you watch the fights, I was I was kind of winning. I was winning the fights, you know. So at some point, then I got cut, you know, and my opponents won, got the victory. So uh, yeah, I'm, I I keep working very hard on everything I do, you know, even on my <laughs> my psychological psychological. Thing, you know uh, so it's a it's a hard sport you know it's hard to understand things and the best thing I, that I can do is is keep working hard keep believing myself because man for me I can see it's everything is right there it may be at maybe even better than it was in the past the performance is there the power is there the stamina is there you know my will to, to become champion again is there you know, so I feel, you know, everything is right there, but the results are not coming. Of course, I, I, I'll keep trying my best, you know, to, to turn things around and go back to my winning streak. They have you as the underdog, even though you have all of the uh, experience. I know that must not feel good, but uh, you're known for being one of the most positive guys in all of mixed martial arts. So for you, how do you take it when they say that? How do you turn it into motivation in camp? Yeah, my, my motivation doesn't come from the, the other opinions, you know. Everybody has an opinion about something, you know, in, li in life. And these days, you know, uh, people for somehow, because it's easier to express your opinion, everybody wants to, to, uh, people to know what they think about you. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's not uh, it's not something that I, I really that really bothers me because I don't I don't put I don't put a lot of attention on this, you know. I put a lot of a lot of attention on on myself, on my on the work what I do and uh, the things that uh, will will bring me something good. If you have a if you criticize criticizing me. And I believe that's that's something good, you know that 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 you're you're right. I, I'll maybe maybe work on that, you know, and try to absorb that. But most part of the things I ju I just don't care, you know. I don't don't listen to the to the people out there because man, they never. There's many other guys, even people that works in, in MMA that works as journalists or whatever, you know, whatever you you do over there. You never get slapped in the face, you man. <laughs> what, what do you know about fighting? You know about why, but just watching. Why you want you you believe that you your opinion uh, should be something that I have to absorb, I have to bring to my reality. It's not truth, you know. Unfortunately, unfortunately, it's not like that. And I have this thing very well um, understand it in my life. So. I, I, like I said, I believe in myself and I'll keep moving forward. You are very right. Not many journalists are getting slapped in the face. So, yes, you're correct. Um, not, just not just journalists, even the guys that are giving opinions and uh, uh, commentating fights or whatever, you know, this guy, some, some 
they some of them you know uh, because you go to the gym and you do one or two classes that you think you understand about that much about fighting you know, it's not like that it's not like that you know uh, and, and also each ca each case each uh, situation is different than the other one so you cannot uh, gener generalize everything you know you have to understand uh, there is individuality in each case so for me i i you know like i said i i feel good with myself i just have to of course to put things in the right place and, and and get the victory the victory is the most important thing always i've been doing this since my 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 beginning in the ufc you know your next fight is always the most important so that's a you know in my case right now this one is very very important for me and i'm going there to win okay thank you junior always appreciate the time thank you we will take the next set of questions from Rodrigo Del Campo with Indiscutito. Oh, excuse me. We will take the next set of questions from Jim Barcelona with the Miami Herald. Thank you. And listening to your commentary there, it's interesting because your this fight is very important, obviously, for you, and you know about the fights and fighting win lose or draw is it more important for you how you feel and how you fought going into this fight and looking into the future i didn't really understand very very well that question can you repeat that oh, junior yes junior sure this fight coming up it's very important to you the next fight is always very important whether you win whether you lose whether you draw is it more important for you how you fight and how you show how you do how you feel going in, moving forward to having another fight after that. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. It's, uh, uh, we have to focus on, on putting 100% of us in the, in the fight, you know, and giving, giving 100% of us, uh, to, to, to win the fight, whatever ha or happens, then we will we'll be a result of that, you know? So, uh, that's what I'm coming for. I'm coming to leave 100% of me in the fight. And of course, expecting to to get a, a great win, you know, on, on on Saturday night. And then, no matter what happens in this fight, you feel ready that you're going to continue. You you look very confident that you will continue fighting, no matter what happens this Saturday. Is that how you feel? Oh, of course. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm 36 years old, man. I, I you know. I like I said, everything's right there. The power, the the the, the will, the stamina um everything you know uh, it's right there it's right here on me with me you know and uh i feel i can still give a lot for the this division and i can still beat many many of these guys you know of course i'm coming from a negative moment a, a hard moment in my career but like i said i was winning all the fights before i got cut with a i'm leaving the, the that thing everybody say about the heavyweight division once you get punched in the face <laughs> the fight's over and your team who did you bring with you for this fight who is going to be in your corner for this one it's going to be luis doria my coach my boxing coach uh luciano macarrão the uh, muay thai coach and uh marcelo gom who's uh Who's, who helps me with the sparring sessions and everything around all, all the, the training, you know. There's uh, many other guys you know, <laughs> at the gym that we should, they should be here, but, uh, but it's not like that, you know. We cannot bring everybody. <laughs> well, Junior, all the best and thank you. Thank you very much. We will take the next set of questions from Scott Shapiro with the South Florida Insider. Hey, Junior, how's it going, buddy? Hey Scott, how are you, man? So, uh, tell me, man. Uh, coming coming into this fight, there's so much shuffling going on in the division. W where do you see yourself, kind of, with uh, what, what's going on in the division? If you get a win right here, moving on. Well, yeah. Uh, well, I, I've been, you know, um, fighting for for a very very long time. So uh, whatever happens, you know, this uh, with the division, uh, this next 
days or next months, uh, it doesn't really matter to me. You know, what I really matters to me is my is the way I'm going to to do in my fight, especially on this next fight. My focus is on is on this one. Whatever comes next, you know, it's a. Uh, it's it's good. Uh, whatever comes next, I'll take it and I'll do my best to to keep going. And like I said, I really believe I I, I can do many many amazing things in this division still, you know, and and become the champion again. So uh, yeah, let's keep working. Once I stop believing that, I'll stop fighting. I'll I'll dedicate myself for for something else, you know. Right now I'm here. I'm spending my time. My my money, everything on, on my career because I really believe in who, in who I am and uh, whatever I, I'm capable to do in, in, uh, inside the octagon. That's why I'm here. It, it, isn't it dangerous that, to uh, have a fighter try and build a name off of somebody? I mean, especially somebody of your uh, credentials, or is it kind of more dangerous the other way for you to take on that hungry fighter trying to build his name? Uh, well, I don't really know. I just uh, think uh, that, you know, it's it's another fight that you have to do. I never picked any any opponent in the UFC, and I'm not willing to do that, <laughs> you know. So uh, whatever the UFC put in front of me, uh, I'll fight it. And I'm not just saying this. I know that a lot of people come here and they say this, but it's not like that. I, I do that for real, you know. So, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, I, I'm I'm ready to give my best, you know, to to get to have the the result that I want, and, and then move forward in my career and see whatever whatever is going to happen. So that same excitement uh, we we should expect from you, regardless coming into this fight. Oh yeah, for sure. You know, I, I'll 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 be there. Like the 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 main goal is to, like I said, you know, is to give 100 percent of me and to show everybody you know what kind of fighter i am because uh sometimes people they start to underestimate you because you're living some negative moment uh, the negative negative moment sometimes doesn't mean that uh uh you're you're become weaker or whatever it's a it's a a result uh, an expected result that you know happens sometimes negative things happen it is there any way that we we could ever take you out of the cage? It just seems you have so much fun inside of it. You're always smiling. Everybody seems to enjoy your company. But what's it going to take? Do we have to uh, pull pull you out on a stretcher thirty years later? You're still fighting. <laughs> well, yeah, no, uh, uh, I I like I said, you know, man, uh, I, I I really I really love what I do. I really love what I who I am, you know. As a fighter, you know, I live. I'm a, I'm a blessed guy, you know. Everything what happens in my life, I have a beautiful family, so I'm a I'm a happy guy, you know. I'm living a negative moment, so but uh, I'm doing my best to to live uh, this in the past. But as soon as I I start to think that um, you know the performance is not there anymore, I don't feel as comfortable as I should feel. Or um, my goals are not to. If I if I believe that I cannot be the champion anymore, I'll stop fighting or I'll try to do something else. I'll dedicate my my time and my efforts, you know, for something else. I'll try to build something or 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 to do another thing in the MMA world. So, uh, but it's not the time right now. <laughs> I'm here to fight. You know, I love to fight. And uh, I'll be always be there to win. <laughs>